gotta use these for stabilization. We don't use them for anything else, so.
lots in there. That looks so cool. I love the new tech touch mark. Nice. All right.
Hey y'all, I just want to talk a little bit of history right now about the westward expansion and whatnot. Um, so I'm forging a hammer as you hopefully know by now. This is going to be a two-faced rounding hammer. Um, one of them's gonna be a flat and one of them's gonna be rounding. Um, and this would be used by blacksmiths and just everyday folk alike. Um, the modern carpenter hammer didn't really catch on at this point in time because most people were doing blacksmithing um, like I am right now. Uh, so while the forge is heating up, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Westward expansion. So by 1800s, um, that time period, many people were coming over from England and many people were also just from America that were wanting to move west because the government at this time was giving some land grants to people who were willing to like develop the land and to grow the community in the country. So many of these people needed tooling. Um, so blacksmiths followed these um, settlers into the western states um, or territories at this time to develop their tooling and help them be able to construct their structures and like if a plow broke or something it was up to the blacksmith to fix that. So this hammer I'm forging right now, um, we took half of this video out on Antelope Island which is a historical blacksmith shop which was used by the settlers in Salt Lake City um, and we're doing the other half out in my modern shop so we can kind of see the association of um, historical blacksmithing and modern blacksmithing so yeah the hammer that I'm forging right now would be used by a lot of folk um, and yeah it's just a fun project so if you are interested in blacksmithing this one's a little bit more difficult but it will help get you started
All right, we're almost done putting the handle on. So that's how it's gonna look. Flat face and then a rounding face. So I've cut a slit in the top here. This is gonna be for a wedge to drive down and kind of support the hammer head in place so it doesn't move off and fly off the, ham the handle. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so that's how the wedge turned out. It almost looks like just one solid piece of wood, but there is a small divide in there. And yeah, the hammer turned out pretty good. I like how it's feeling and looking. So now I need to turn this blocky handle into a nice handle. And I'm gonna do that all off camera because um, that is gonna take a long time and I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch that. All right, y'all. The handle itself is properly attached to the hammer and it is formed correctly. Um, this is a European style, so it has a, a small coming in point right here and then it gets wider and then it gets skinny for the head. Um, and the end is just rounded. Um, and then you guys ready for the magic? This is how I make most of my projects look cooler. I use a torch. And then once I've burned it all, I grab canola oil. Just your regular household canola oil. And I seal the handle with that. It tends to work pretty well, and it really brings out the color of the grain. Let me just get some of this on this rag here. There we go. And then I will apply liberally to the handle. And look at how that makes the grain come out. I hope you can see that. This will darken the handle right up and make it weatherproof. Also make it look super cool. So there we go. That's with most of it stained. I'll get you a better angle in a second. So here's the finished project, y'all. Flatting face on one side and a rounding face on the other. This thing turned out awesome. I'm so glad I started the project. And again, this is a very historically important hammer. All right, y'all, here's the finished hammer. So it features my touch mark right about there. Um, features a foot long hammer handle. Um, it has a rounding face and a flattening face. This is a very historically important project. Um, a blacksmith would have to either make or repair around three of these a day in the westward expansion time period. So these were a very common project to make. And again, this was made out of some mild steel I found. So um, it was a fun and easy project to make. And the wedge, you can see it in there. It actually turned out really well. And this handle is not going to fall off the hammer. Um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna be smithing with this for uh, quite a good time. Thanks for watching y'all.